all, my name is Lee Castle and I'm a grade 2 teacher at Stephen Central Public School for the Avon Maitland District School Board. And today I'm going to share parts of my lesson on maps and globes. On the first page here and on every page there's an information button and or a pull tab with instructions about how to navigate through the page. Here the students will be reading about globes. While they read, they'll be using the highlighter to highlight important words like sphere or globe. Um, afterwards, a student can tap on the image of the Earth to view Google Earth, and the sessions can continue from there. On the next page, students will be reading about latitude and longitude. On this page here, a student will tap in the box and out of the box to read the first section of text, and then slide the screen shade down and tap on the text to finish reading about latitude. Here, students will read quickly about longitude, and after those two pages, students will complete a series of multiple choice questions about latitude and longitude. Afterwards, the students will watch a short five minute video about how globes are made. And then the students will be labeling a globe by sliding the word from the word box onto the correct line. As students work, they will use the magnifying glass by sliding the magnifying glass under the line to check their answers um, as they go. Students can then tap on the compass rose to view the completed Yay! diagram. And here the students will be asked to recall what they've learned about globes by reading the sentence and filling in the word that's missing. Um, students can then move the box to reveal the answer. If they're having a difficult time with this activity, a student can tap the compass rose, they can reread the information about globes, tap the compass rose again, and then finish the activity. Next, the students will be using the pens to fill in the missing word map or globe to complete each sentence. If a student makes a mistake, he or she can use the eraser at any time to erase and re-record. And then a student can slide the screen shade down to read a short piece on maps. Here, the students will be learning about map keys and legends. By touching the image here, students will visit the National Geographic website where they will play a game that requires them to use map keys and legends called Adventure Island. The students will then complete a series of activities using the pens creating map keys and legends. And next, the students will be working with the map of Ontario, moving the names of the cities and lakes onto their correct locations on the map, while simultaneously filling in the table. Students will be dragging check marks into the located column to, um, once they've identified and located the cities and lakes, and as well, students will be moving the correct symbol into the symbol column. Um, the students will complete this task by using the split screen function. Next, um, students will be playing a game where they sort the lakes in Canadian cities by dragging the names of the lakes into the lake column and the cities into the city column, and they can check their work as they go. <coughs> After that, students will then be looking at a map of Canada where they will have to move the province of Ontario and two of the major cities onto the correct location. Here, the students will then be completing a map of Canada by moving the provinces and territories onto their correct locations. Um, students can tap <coughs> sorry, the beaver to check their work. And on this screen here, students can touch the Canada flag to hear their national anthem. And on the next page here, students will be using the words in the word box to label now all of the provinces and territories. Um, by tapping the flag, the students can watch a short YouTube video and learn a song about Canada, and by tapping the beaver, they can see their correct answers. There are several more slides in this lesson, and the students move on to learning about the world, and if you're interested, the lesson is posted on the Smart Exchange for you to view. So why do I want to become a C? I want to be a part of a community of educators who are as motivated and dedicated as I am to finding innovative ways to use technology to enhance the teaching and learning experience. What I'm most excited about is that teachers are choosing pathways and that through these pathways they are immediately connected with other educators who share similar interests. The relationships that will develop as a result of the pathways we choose and the possibilities for collaborating, sharing, networking, teaching and learning together are what make this program so compelling. The pathways that interest me the most are research and market advisory. I want to be involved in the process of developing and testing new products as well as researching how the use of these products impact teaching and learning. Using technology effectively is the future of education, and I want to examine what products we are using, why we are choosing to use certain products in the classroom, and the pedagogy behind those choices. Thank you again for considering me for the C program. <laughs>